Hey my lovelies, it's your girl True T T J and I am back with another story time video. <clears throat> okay, so full disclosure. This story time video, um, I am basically exposing myself to you guys about a certain situation that happened to me back in the gap, like most of my videos happened to me in the past. Um, some happened to me recently. No, not a lot. Most of the videos that, that I told you guys have happened to in the past. Okay. So, but yeah, this is me um, basically putting myself on the front line about something that I did um, back in the day. Do I regret it? No. Do I feel bad about doing it? Not really. Um, will I do it again? Probably not. But it happened. So, I'm not beating myself up about it. And... <clears throat> And I'm just going to tell my truth and let that be that. Period. Okay, I'm just going to let that be that. I hope you guys don't judge me too harshly or whatever like that. But I like being vulnerable and I like also telling you guys good stories, bad stories, horrible stories. And also stories that may make me probably, I don't want to look bad, but it, it probably would make me look bad depending on where you stand. So yeah, but yeah, so... Let's go ahead and get into this video. Like always, I need you guys to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, thumbs this video up, share, comment, do all that stuff, show you girls some support. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for the comment. Thank you guys for everything that you have done so far. I really do appreciate it, okay? So yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the story time. So if you already know what the story time is about, it's about the time that I slept with my best friend at the time, ex-girlfriend. Okay, um, <laughs> so, yeah, I did that. I can't believe I did that, but I did that. Okay, so, me and my best friend, we was best friend for, like, years. Like, almost, I want to say, like, almost, almost, like, 10 years we was best friend, but we aren't best friends anymore. Okay, so, we would do a lot of fucked up things to each other. Mostly her, she would do more fucked up things to me than I would do to her, and that's true, too. Okay, like, I'm the type of person, like, I don't like to burn my bridges. I don't throw shade at other women unless you throw shade at me. And I, I'm just not for the, to tearing black women down, tearing each other down. Like, I, I never have been like that. Like, I'm the type of person, like, what goes on in our household stays in our household. As long as you ain't trying to, like, kill me, steal from me, or, you know what I'm saying, do all the unnecessary things. Like, I just, it is what it is or whatever. Like, that's just how I am. It probably more things in there, but right now, those are, like, the top two. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, she was dating this girl. And I'm going to give her a name. I'm going to call her... I'm going to call my best friend ex-girlfriend. I'm going to call her... <clears throat> Hit it and quit it. Okay? And y'all already know my ex-best friend name. Her name is Scandalous. I didn't talk about her in other uh, previous videos. So, she is the one that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Okay? And y'all already know... If Scandis figure out who I am or who I'm talking about, baby, then you hit me up on Instagram, period. So, yeah, so Scandalous is my ex-best friend. Hit it and quit it is Scandalous' ex-girlfriend. Okay, so when I met Hit it and quit it, me and her, we ain't never just, it, it was more like a buddy-buddy type thing, first and foremost. Like, when I was introduced to her by Scandalous, me and her was, like, real cool. Like, just just real cool. Like, we was all cool. We all hung out with each other all the time. We all went out to the club all the time. You know, we all, like, called each other on three-way all the time. Like, that's just how it was. Like, even when I had my girlfriend at the time, you know, we will call her on four-way. So, it was just, like, we was, like, really all cool or whatever like that. But my girlfriend at the time, she kept on saying that he had quit it, liked me. And I was just like, I really don't know why you would think that. Like, I guess I was at that time very oblivious to her liking me because I really honestly didn't see it. Like, I did not see her liking me. Like, she's, she was so into scandalous. I never just imagined that she liked me like that. So, I was just, I always tell my girlfriend, like, girl, just, just chill out. Like, this girl don't like me. Like, she really do love, you know, my best friend at the time. Like, you know, she always be asking me, like, what she like, you know, like, what what should I get her for her birthday? Like, we would communicate with things like that. Like, she'd be one, like, surprise her. You know, do all of the things that I feel like a girlfriend does to their girlfriend or whatever like that. So, I just never, I did not see that hitting and quitting 
she actually liked me or whatever. So, let's fast forward it. So, we all going out to the club. We doing this. We doing that. We were a third. So, him and Quinn and Scandalous, they started to like um, beef or whatever. They started to like have bad blood between each other. Like, I guess because Scandalous... She was the type of girl where she was always looking for something better. She always thought something was better out there than hitting and quitting. I feel like since hitting and quitting wasn't bright skin, curly hair, mixed braid, you know, type chick. Like, she always just was like, I'm just going to fuck with hitting and quitting when don't nobody else want to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I can't find my mixed braid, I'm going to go to hitting and quitting. Now, hitting and quitting, she wasn't mixed, but she was like bright skin. She had good hair or whatever like that, but she was fully black. You know what I'm saying? My home, my best friend at the time, like, she was really into, like, mixed breed girls. Like, that was just her thing. But it was just like she, they never stuck around long enough. And then when they end up dipping out, then she would just go back to hitting and quitting. And hitting and quitting would, like, take her back. But I guess hitting and quitting started to, like, catch on to, like, scandalous and be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I want to be with you or whatever like that. And I feel like it's some other things that she caught on to with scandalous and, and she was just, like, not, not feeling it or whatever like that. So, this happened within like a year, okay? So, I've been knowing hit it and quit it a year uh, through uh, Scandalous. So, like, um, one day, you know, we was on the phone or whatever like that. Me and hit it and quit it. We started to, like, talk to each other, like, on the phone without Scandalous and without my girlfriend or whatever. Again, I'm, I'm telling you guys the truth. Like, I did not put two and two together. I honestly thought since we was doing this previously before, like, you know, it was okay. Like, we was all friends at this time. Like, I didn't know this bitch for like a year now. Like, we just all cool. Like, I did not start to pick up the signs that she probably like, like me, like me or whatever. So, I know I'm just messing with my hair a lot. I don't know. I just think it's real cute. I think I really did a really good job. So, I just, I keep fucking with my hair. I'm sorry. Back to the story. Ah. Okay. So, I just never thought that she like, liked me like that. Okay, so after months of talking on the phone, like, um, you know, me and, me and Hit and Quitted, we'll meet up. Like, she, she was very, like, outgoing. She had a lot of friends. So we'll just meet up or whatever like that um, on the north side because that's where she lives, of Houston. And we'll meet up and we'll, like, go to karaoke nights. Like, we'll go to her friend house and then we'll have, like, something to eat, something to drink, play video games, watch a movie. So me and Hit and Quitted started to hang out real hard. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I did have a girlfriend, but me and my girlfriend was cheating on each other like like we was never together. Like, if y'all was to meet us, y'all probably would think we wasn't together because we was literally cheating on each other all damn time. We was not very affectionate with each other. We wasn't like, we wasn't nothing. We was like, kind of like friends, you know what I'm saying? But we had, we lived together, but we was fucking other people. She was fucking who she was fucking, and I was fucking who I was fucking, and that's just how it was. So, um... Yeah, so me and Hit It and Quit It, we started hanging out real hard. Um, damn near every weekend, because you guys know I've always worked a full-time job, so I really couldn't go during the week. But it got to the point to where I, I, I drive that 45 minutes just to hang out with her during the week. And then I'll be so tired by the time I leave home. I mean, by the time I leave out with her, then I'll just drive home and, you know, crash, go to sleep, wake up and go to work or whatever like that. So it got to the point to where I started, like, catching feelings for the chick, but... I didn't really say it to her. So, one day, me and Hit It and Quit It was on the phone. And we was, like, talking or whatever. And you know how you kind of feel like the air is different? Like, you know, like, when y'all both want to say something to each other. But y'all just don't know how to say it to, y to each other. Because y'all been friends for a while. Y'all don't know how um, it was going to look. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all didn't want to mess up the friendship, but it was, like, killing you inside because you really want to tell this person how you feel or whatever. It's kind of like how I felt. And at this time, Hit It and Quit It and Scandalous, they had already broken up for months. So, it wasn't like they was together and we did what we did. They was le legitimately broken up. I was the only one in a turmoil relationship with a bitch, okay? I was the only one still... We, we ain't... We ain't me and my girlfriend at the time, we didn't say that we was broken up. We ain't say that we was together. You know what I'm saying? It was just that unknown between us or whatever. Cool. So, me and Hit and Quit it, we was on the phone one night. And we was both just, like, acting real weird. And we, I remember we just kept on telling each other, like, you know, it just seemed, like, the air, it just seemed weird. You know, like, it don't, it don't feel right. Like, it's something, it's something going on. And she kept on asking me why I was quiet. So, I was just like, you know, I got something to tell you. 
And but I don't know how you're gonna feel about it or whatever like that. And she was just like, "Well, just tell me." And I was just like, "I can't." And she, and you know, you know, you go back and forth with that. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> type shit. You know. God damn, we was young. So I finally, after all that going back and forth, I finally told hit it and quit it. I was like, you know, I feel bad because I like you, but I don't like you like a friend type of way. Like I like you like. I want to get to know you like a like more than a friend type thing and i was so surprised that she had felt the same goddamn way but in the back of my mind like i knew it was wrong but i was just like you know what who cares you know like scandalous done did a lot of scandalous things to me before and i'm not gonna walk away on my blessing because she messed up a really good thing with a really good girl or whatever like that like hit it and quit it she was so nice she was so sweet she was very attentive like you know what I'm saying? She she had a good head on her shoulder. She was going to school. She had her own car. You know, she, if she stayed at home with her mom, but it was okay. Her mom was cool as fuck. It was just like she had she had a lot of good qualities about her that I feel like Scandalous did not appreciate. So it kind of like, I don't know. It was okay for me to do it. So, yeah. So after we was telling each other that we like each other or whatever like that and we want to like see where this goes... Like that weekend, we were supposed to meet up to go um, to karaoke or whatever. But you already know, like, when y'all both liking each other, like, the tension and the heat already been there. Like, y'all already had that little spark in between y'all or whatever like that. But once it was finally brought to light, then y'all be like, oh, full throttle. So that's kind of like how it happened. Like, once we told each other that we liked each other, girl, it was making out. It was feeling on each other it was kissing it was spending the night it was dancing out nasty it was a lot of stuff that just happened in one night and then yeah we went back to the house baby and we was humping like some rabbits and we did that for like six months straight okay it, it was so crazy but i feel like that relationship between her and i could have lasted but i i i kind of messed that up because i was still trying to play both roles with my ex at the time like I was still like in love with my ex, but I wasn't. I didn't want to be with her. I really want to be with Hidden and Quit It, but I couldn't help the fact that I still love my ex, and you know it was like this little part of me that that really did want her more, or whatever. And Hidden and Quit It kind of realized that because I was still helping my ex out, like I was still going over there, helping out, giving her money, picking her up, taking her on job interviews. I was still doing things for her that I should have just not have done, and I could have focused more time on Hidden and Quit It. Or whatever like that. But I did not. So in hitting and quitting. She kept on telling me like all the time. Like you need to leave us alone. Like we need to be together. We need to do this. But I I was so head over heels with my ex. Because we had been together for so long. We had been through so much. I was just like girl look. You already knew the situation. When you got in here. So don't be trying to come up in here. And try to make me change my ways. Like don't do not do that. Like I was I was at that point with hitting and quitting. Like you know don't try to force me into doing the thing I don't want to do. Let me find myself. Let me do what I want to do. When I want to do it. Or whatever like that. And you got the option to either stay around or just leave. Like that's the type of person that I was. So like one day. So it's been like six months. So scandalous. She had came up to a couple of spots where men hit it and quit it was that, and it was kind of odd. She had came up to the karaoke place that we used to hang out a lot of times. I forgot what she had came up there, but she wanted to have, she wanted to meet hit it and quit it to like get something back or whatever like that. So she had came up there or whatever like that, and she saw me there. I'm gonna say call baby because I'm grown. Can't nobody catch me do shit, but. She had saw me there and, you know, from a look on her face, she was just looking like, why the fuck you up here with my ex-girlfriend? Like, why why are you up here without me? Like, you supposed to be my best friend. So, that was the first time she had caught, um, caught us together or whatever like that. And so, the second time she had saw us together was actually at old girl's Amy house. Like, her Amy was having, like, I think it was, like, for Christmas. It was, like, Christmas or, or, or Thanksgiving or something like that. Like, I was making my, I want to say it was Thanksgiving. I was making my rounds. Like, you know, Thanksgiving when you were a child, you go to your mama house, then you go to your mama's sister house, and then you go to other family members' house. You know, y'all just be hopping from house to house. So that's kind of like how, what I did that day. And my last house was to go over there to hit it and quit his sister house. And so I went over there to hit it and quit his sister house, and me and her, we was just out there chilling or whatever, and then she received a text from Scandalous, and Scandalous was outside. 
So I ended up going outside with hit it and quit it too. And then Scandalous was, you could tell she was kind of upset, but she ain't going to bust no grip in no fruit fight. So she really ain't said nothing to me. But you could tell on her face that she was kind of upset and that she wanted to talk to hit it and quit it. Scandalous wanted to talk to Hit and Quit in the car, and I could see that Scandalous was like crying about something. I guess she was trying to get back with Hit and Quit it, but by that time, me and her had already been fucking, so me and her was like hanging real tough. So I knew Hit and Quit it had feelings for me, so I already knew like she wasn't gonna go back to her, or whatever like that. So I wasn't really worried about it. So yeah, I had went up, I had went back in the house and let them have their little conversation in the car, or whatever like that. And so Hit and Quit it came back in there. He didn't quit it, had came back in her any house, and we would start talking about it or whatever like that. And I, I did start to feel bad at that moment. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like when I started to feel bad at that moment because Scandalous had already caught us twice, that's when I was just like, you know, hmm, maybe I need to rethink this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just ruin our friendship. You know what I'm saying? Over no female. I don't want to just do this, this, this. But I, I didn't think uh, scandalous was stupid. I think she kind of like caught on because like after after this whole thing, like me and her relationship just started to go down the line. Like it was it was already a little bit weird, but it, it just started to get worse after this whole um, me sleeping with her ex girlfriend. So um, yeah, after that day, me and Hidden and quitted. We had went to her friend's house and. I'm the type of person, if you want to tell me something about myself, like, I don't like for you to tell me in front of people. Like, I, I do that to you, too. So, I would never just put you on blast in front of people. I would, like, try to call you to the back room, or I'll wait till we get in the car, or I'll wait till we alone, you know what I'm saying, before I try to tell you how I feel, because I don't feel like everybody should know our business. So, but hitting and quit it, she wasn't really like that. Like, I guess she was getting frustrated, because, A, I did kind of backed off on like chilling with her um b she kept on telling me that i need to leave my ex alone and i would not have left my ex alone and c she, i think she was getting kind of frustrated because i kept on bringing up the fact that i felt bad about doing this with her knowing that she's my ex-girlfriend girlfriend you know what i'm saying like, i mean knowing that she was my my best friend ex-girlfriend so i felt kind of bad doing it but it, it's been six months at this time so you know i really don't care now i, I guess i guess that's how she feel like i should not care so one day we was at her friend's house and um, she had said something about my ex and I had got so fucking upset with her. Like I had got so upset with her and I kind of like talked to her all stupidly in front of her friends or whatever like that. I kind of, I really did like talk to her crazy and I think that's when she was just like, you know what, fuck this shit. Like this bitch still love her ex. She defended her ex. Like I'm done with her ass. So she ended up like blocking me. Um... I couldn't get in touch with her. Like, after we left that, her friend's house that day, like, she just stopped talking to me, like, completely. She completely just cut my ass off or whatever like that. And so, like, I tried to get in touch with her on so many ways. So, I finally got in touch with her or whatever like that. And she was basically telling me that she don't want to talk to me like that no more. That she don't want to um, pursue us anymore. Like, she kind of, like, over it. She realized that I'm never going to stop fucking around with my ex or whatever like that, which is true. Me and my ex end up standing together, like, almost a year and a half longer after that and so like um she was just like yeah she done and then i found out that her and her girlfriend had like a little youtube channel for a little while but i really can't find them no more not that i was actually looking for them no more but this was like years ago when i actually was trying to like look for them i was like still in houston when i when i found her youtube channel but yep that's what i say so that's my story time of how i slept with my best friend ex girlfriend Back in the gap. I'm a reborn woman. I don't do things like that anymore. I'm a type of person. I don't like to carry luggage. So I'm not going to bring luggage into your next relationship. I need to find or have a woman that can go with just a carry on. I guess. I don't know. Carry on is all I want. So. But yeah. Um, that's it. <laughs> That is my story time. The first and the last time. I, I, I kid you not, you guys. I will never do that again. Um, I'm grown. I'm more mature. And I just don't see myself doing anything like that ever again. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed this story time. It's a little juicy. I had to spill some tea.
period but yeah and i hope to see you guys in my next video like always i hope you guys stay safe stay blessed and come back next time bye